Today we're gonna be playing in BFB Coliseum once again with this amazing strategy, Tack Sub Spike Rat Tree alongside Gwendolyn, and we're gonna see what happens, all right? So without further ado, let's hop right in today's video. All right, boys, so we are going against Blue Ice 999 in BFB Coliseum, all right? Dude, I have a genuine question for y'all, all right? So a lot of people have been purposely just knocking, oh, oh my God, I think this guy's doing it. Look, he's starting off with two boomers. Is he just gonna disconnect? No, he's not, all right? So, oh my God, what I was about to ask y'all is if I should purposely lose all these games to lower myself into Yellow Stadium so that I can grind XP for other towers, all right? Because obviously using the same strategy over and over again, it gets pretty boring at times, okay? So I want to grind for other towers, but in order to grind for other towers, the most optimal way would be for me to be in Yellow Stadium because then I could get quicker and easier wins in that arena right because most of the games at bfb coliseum go to round 30 all right so i'm gonna be spending a lot more time and also too i'm not guaranteed to win i have a way higher chance of winning though in yellow stadium okay so should i purposely knock myself down back to yellow stadium in order to grind xp for other towers all right let me know down in the comments because a ton of other youtubers and just players in general are doing it all right because it is super super optimal for sure because i don't want to go into hall of masters only having like four towers that have fit tiers you know like i want to grind for the sniper i want to grind for the spike factory i want to grind for the boomer super monkey all those other towers man so i have some options when i'm in hall of masters you know and hall of masters by the way is when you have more than 100 trophies okay and once you're in hall of masters you can't get out all right so yeah, I think I'm going to purposely knock myself down, all right? Maybe later on stream or something like that, okay? Because I might be streaming later tonight. Uh, but, dude, maybe I should hit ZOMG Superdome first. You know, I I've got options, guys. Because right now we're at 73 trophies, okay? So, I could try to hit that. What should I do? Once again, please let me know, all right? But it looks like he's going to be sending me some space whites here, okay? So, hopefully we can fully defend against all of that. Uh, we're going to leak. Yeah, we're gonna leak. Okay, that's fine. If he wants first blood, let him have it. It's really not the end of the world by any freaking means, okay? But I'm gonna end up going for another tax shooter, I guess, because he is staying very, very consistent with these space whites. I'm actually leaking quite a bit. Like, this is crazy. I leaked down to 116, okay? So, that kind of sucks, all right? But now that we have this next tax shooter, hopefully we're gonna be A-OK -okay against all of this. He's going with the boomer and a sniper and, of course, Oban as well, right? So, quite a different strategy for sure, right? But most likely will not be able to kill him um to ddt's on round 26 because the sniper is pretty goaded against those are right he's got that boomer for stalin as well but he bad on round 30 will still be pretty hard to defend against her right so most likely we'll end up sending him that as well right but i'm probably going to go for another tax shooter i cannot believe he is still sending me these face whites guys inefficiently equaling that leads me to believe that he might in fact be aggressive here um, on round 11 or round 13. I don't know, just sometime during the mid-game rounds, okay? So we're gonna have to watch out for that. Also, too, because he is going with the sniper, all he needs to do is upgrade middle path to get the supply drop upgrade and use that ability. He gets $2,000 per crate. It's actually nuts, and he's not gonna need to eco any further after that, all right? So he might be trying to do that. Not entirely sure, all right? But I am probably gonna end up trying to go uh, for this reactor here, all right? So let's just get up the 300 for now. I know my eco is only at 850. Like, this is not looking too good for us, all right? But we still got time, all right? Trust the process. And we still do have lead detection with Gwendolyn, all right? So hopefully we're going to be A-OK -okay against any potential rushes here during the next upcoming rounds. Here comes some purples, all right? So I'm just going to go for that reactor. We should, in fact, be good. Only a few purples there. That was, that was a little bit weird okay so we could send him a rush by the way although it might be a pretty easy of defend i don't know like i i, I truly truly do not know he is still not equaling ladies and gentlemen he might in fact be sending us a rush here okay so gonna have to watch out might in fact have to go for this overdrive here um and wow dude why is he not dude maybe he's trying to go for the supply drop then on the sniper it's gotta be that like i i really don't know what else he's trying to scheme up yep there's that supply drop all right so yeah, I, I think he would be fine against pretty much any mid-game rushes, all right? Because Sniper is very, very, very OP, all right? So, yeah, and there he goes with that ability, okay? So, we're going to see if we can beat the Sniper, all right? Because I think the Sniper is the new most broken tower 
in balloon cd battles to our right a ton of other balloon cbers have went against a sniper and they have definitely struggled quite a bit all right alukian specifically he was talking to me and he was telling me how broken the sniper is pretty much like you only need the eco until like round seven and then you start building up the freaking supply drops getting all that money and you just have so much money on round 30 you can even defend against a bad i believe as well right so i guess we'll have to wait and see what happens all right but i guess what i am probably going to focus on is just full on eco in here although it's round 16 guys oh my god boosted ceramics could in fact kill us we're gonna have to watch out for that uh, i definitely need to play this safe here so i'm gonna start eco with greens okay like i know our eco is really not that good and guys these rounds are flying by flying by because the snipers are just popping the balloons right as they come out the map and the quicker that you pop the air balloons the faster the rounds actually go by all right so dang man like what are we gonna do man we're probably not even gonna have that much eco Oh, no. Okay, so this is probably not going to be all that good for us. But, like, around 30 BAD, it might be hard for him. I'm thinking his last tower, by the way, is probably Super Monkey. All right, so, I mean, to defend a round 30, 45 BAD on this map, it's going to be kind of harder, right? But it's definitely possible, okay? So, I don't know, man. I really do not know. But I'm going to probably end up going for an overdrive right here just to be ultra, ultra safe in case he does want to send me a quick ceramic rush or something like that, all right? But he's already got three sniper abilities man it's not going to be worth it by the way to send him like a fortified zmg bfb nothing like that all right so nk has definitely got to make those balloons way way stronger because in their current sites it's just way too easy to defend against all right especially if you have things like the first strike ability for example i can literally one pop any of those easily okay so yeah but oh he's all he's going ice sniper ice boomer that is quite an interesting strategy. I wonder how much damage the ice can actually do against the BAD, all right? So I'm super excited to be able to send him one on round 30, all right? Um, but I guess for the meantime, we're just going to focus on full-on eco in here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I'll probably, too, just go for a spike factory in the back of the map just so we can gain a little bit more XP on this tower, right? Because, guys, I'm literally like 200 XP away from freaking getting this four tier spike factory man i haven't really been grinding this game all that much i kind of decided to take a little bit of a break because i was streaming a lot and just playing this game a lot in general um so hopefully tonight i could stream later grind this i mean we should easily be able to get this four tier obviously uh, but yeah i'm still deciding on whether or not i want to drop to yellow stadium or maybe hit zomg superdome first because if we hit zomg superdome then i'll get that like cool banner you know, that, that would be cool for my profile. You know, people would be like, oh my god, he's been in CMG Superdome. This guy's freaking goaded, you know? So, yeah. But now it's round 23. 3,100 eco, right? So, see, like, I feel like by now we normally would have more. It's just these snipers are anti-stalling so freaking much, dude. That is insane, man. So, like, even if we do send him a fortified BAD, he could just counter with DDTs. So, like, that's not good. But also, too, now he's got that tree up on Obin. Oh my, okay, he already got that. That's crazy. That is actually insane, all right? So that means he's going to be able to defend against, I think, like three DDTs. So, I mean, I wasn't going to send him DDTs anyway because the sniper honestly does really, really well against those, all right? Although his boomer cannot detect DDTs, okay? Nor can the ice. It's only the sniper, okay? So we could consider um, countering and trying to kill him with DDTs. I don't know, like, how good supply drops necessarily would be against DDTs, all right? Maybe somebody's screaming at me in the comments right now, like, Boltrix, don't you even think about sending the DDTs, all right? But, like, I seriously, I, I just know one time I went against Sniper, and it was disintegrating all the DDTs I sent, all right? But, I mean, if worse comes to worse and he defends against the first four to five BAD, then I might just have to send that, you know? I literally might have no other choice, okay? But, it's not round 25, all right? I'm probably going to have to go for the tax zone if I want to defend against DDTs here on round 26, okay? So he definitely knows, by the way, that we have fifth tier tax shooters, all right? So I'm just going to go for that now, all right? Just so we have that ready on standby, all right? And mm, I don't really know what else I want to do, all right? We only have 4,200 eco. I guess I'm going to try to shoot for 5,000 if that's possible. Look at the mobs on his side, guys. Like, they just stay there. But I don't think the snipers can stall BADs, but like, how quickly can they pop down the first layer of a BAD is the ultimate, ultimate question. <laughs> I, I truly don't know. I truly don't know. This is the first time I've ever went against a strategy like this, okay? Ice, like this is the first time I've seen ice, or one of the first times, definitely, okay? So that's crazy. Normally don't see the boomer. This guy's not even going with the meta tax shooter. So like, that is actually crazy, okay? So 
I guess I'm going to remove this obstacle because I do want to go for more attack shooters or right. So, yeah, I'm going to go for another overdrive, I guess, like right here. Maybe another one right here. Oh, okay. Wrong upgrade. So, I'm going to go for another one right next to that one. And then I'll probably have this one. Oh, my God, guys. I am throwing the freaking cash right now. But I want to go for, I guess, just one more overdrive right here. That's... <laughs> I don't know if it's like solid defenses, all right, but I guess it's better than nothing, okay? We did hit 5,000 eco too, okay? So that's good. Still only round 28, all right? So we got a little bit more time. We could stop ecoing here. So I might want to consider that. Of course, he's not ecoing because he's getting all that money from his supply drops, although he only has six. Uh, but it, wait, is that a fifth tier one? I think that is a fifth tier supply drop. I don't know how much money that gives. Probably a lot. It probably does something. I'm not too sure, okay? But we do have, what, $38,000, okay? So we can definitely send a fortified BAD. But the thing is, he might just easily counter, okay? So we're, we're going to have to watch out for that, of course. 100%. So I guess I'm going to probably go for a zero, 0 sub here. I'm going to stop equaling too. We have 5,500 eco, right? So I feel like that's more than enough, all right? Like these spike factories, guys... They're really not going to do all that much, okay? I'm just trying to put a little bit more money into them so that I can get a little bit more XP out of them, okay? So, but right as round 30 starts, I'm going to send this fortified BAD, all right? Um, <laughs> obviously, he, he knows it's coming, okay? So, let's send him that, all right? We're also going to probably balloon boost it. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do that, okay? So, let's send that. Balloon boost, all right? He's going to end up, okay. Um, do we defend that with tower boost? No? Yes? Barely Okay. Um, that's bad though. That's really, really bad. Okay, so I might just counter here. Oh, wait, he's actually really, really struggling here. He's really, really struggling. He's really, really struggling. All right, did we get the dub? Did we get the dub? Yes, we did. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. He really did not do well against those DDTs at all. He was relying on those open trees, but that did not seal the deal for him. He sent us those DDTs there. I knew he was going to be countering, all right? So good thing we did what we did, all right? GG's only. And that is actually going to be wrapping up today's video. I hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy. We beat the new most broken tower in the game, so I'm pretty hyped about that. But let me know down in the comment section below whether or not I should grind back down, or that doesn't make sense, but go back down to Yellow Stadium or not. And I should be streaming later tonight as well, all right? So I hope you guys did enjoy once again. It's been your Wolf Bull Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.